Hi everybody, welcome to Dooley's Crochet, a.k.a. Julia. And today's episode is um, Tuesday shout-outs. But I'm going to read the devotional first, and then I will do my shout-outs. And it says, A Conscience Awakened. Now a traveler came to the rich man. But the rich man refrained from taking one of his own sheep or cattle to prepare a meal. Instead, he took the all lamb that belonged to the poor man and prepared it for the one who had come to him. David burned with anger against the man and said to Nathan, As surely as the Lord lives, the man who did this must die. Second Samuel chapter 12, 4 through 5. It's all in the delivery. Messages about one's faults, mistakes, and yes, sin tend to be better received when they're delivered gently. At God's prompting, the pro prophet Nathan took a gentle approach when he confronted King David after his affair with Bathsheba and murder of Uriah. The story began instantly enough, yet the punchline achieved this desired effect. The enraged David immediately recognized the rich man's wrongdoing. The man who did this must die because he did such a thing and had no pity. Second Samuel chapter 12 verses 5 and 6. David wasn't as quick to see Nathan next proclaim and proclaim quite boldly, You are the man. Verse 7. David's conscience was no longer in hibernation. He was the rich man in the story. He who had six wives had stolen Uriah's Bathsheba. We often criticize in other people's characteristics and traits. There are quite as well as ours. Okay, for the Tuesday shout outs, I'm going to shout out a few. And they're no in particular order, but it's, uh, my first one is Everyday Erin. Her name is Erin. She crochets. She knits. Uh, she does paper crafts. And she's just an awesome person. My next one, it isn't a crochet channel. It's a ghost channel. And it's Katrina Weidman. She did uh, portals to H-E double hockey sticks. And let's see, she's done Paranormal Lockdown. She's on Paranormal State. And she started a YouTube channel. And it's really, she goes and visits it like Pennhurst and places like that. And she takes you along with her. And... I like stuff like that. I don't know if you do, but if you do, you can subscribe. The next one is Chiquita's Crochet. Her name is Deborah, and she crochets. She does arts and crafts. She does a lot of a lot of stuff. And then my last one is Little Crochet Farm. Her name is Anna, or Anna. She crochets toys, she does amigurumi, she does tutorials, she makes baby rattles, she makes baby toys, she makes all kind of stuff for the baby. So if you want to go check her out, I would uh, appreciate it. I just found a couple of those, so like uh, Katrina Wyman and the Little Crochet Farm, I just found them this week. Or, no, last week. At the end of last week. And I've been watching some. So, if you can go, want to go check these out and watch them, just maybe go subscribe and like their videos. Or just subscribe and watch a couple. I know they need some people. Um, if you can, give me a thumbs up. And maybe share or subscribe. I really want to thank Amanda at Naughty Crocheter and Jared at Jared TV because since I've shared them on my channel 
and he Jared showed me on his I've gotten a lot of subscribers and I really do appreciate it so if y'all can please go check them two out they are amazing and Amanda is just the sweetest so if you can go check them out also I would appreciate it so if you can give me a thumbs up a like maybe share this out and subscribe I would greatly appreciate it and I will put these in the description box and I think that's all I have for today I will be back tomorrow for Whip It Wednesday and I have started a new whip so maybe I just got finished casting on a row so I will um, show you what I got done from today and tomorrow so I will be back tomorrow and I hope everyone has an awesome day and get their crafting time in whatever they craft and be kind and be kind to yourself also and I will see you later